Hello! Today we are going to go in search of priest holes from the 15 and 1600s that we believe are in the walls here at Hopwood Hall. And our friend Roz is going to come over and help us search. In fact, we think there might be an entrance in this fireplace right behind me that leads up into the priest hole behind it. But before we show you that, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell to be alerted about our latest content. As you might have seen in one of our previous videos, a while back we discovered a secret room concealed within the walls of Hopwood Hall that we believe might have been a priest hole dating back to the late 1500s or early 1600s. We think we've just found a secret room in Hopwood Hall. Wow, look at these old bricks. Look at all this stuff. It's all mummified mold or something. Oh my gosh, what is that? It's like a, it's like an old chest or something. Now you might remember Roz from our earlier video about Guy Fox. Roz is a descendant of Guy Fox who came here to Hopwood Hall to visit in the early 1600s. So she knows a lot about that time period and a lot about priest holes, and she is going to help us search for them. So for those of us who don't know, what exactly is a priest hole? Well, the priest hole was um, a safe space for when the, the priest visited a house such as this, where he could hide in safety, because if he was caught, you know, he would certainly be um, arrested and tortured. Can you tell me a little bit about why priest holes would even have been built? Well, the, the priest holes were built uh, because at the time it was a crime to be Catholic. So what would have been the punishment? If you were rich, you could pay a fine. Obviously, if they were poorer, they, they were caught, they were tortured. Sometimes, even if you were rich, you were tortured too. Back then, the Hopwood family were Catholics and they had to conceal their religion to protect themselves, but also their priests. So they built priest holes within Hopwood Hall. This was a very scary time because if you were found out to be Catholic, you could be fined, you could have your property taken away from you, and worse, you could be executed. So say I'm living during the Reformation and I want to build a priest hole. Where do I start? Who, who would I call to do that? The main person was responsible for priest holes was Nicholas Owen and he was only a little man five feet tall carpenter by trade he soon branched out into making the priest holes because he was a lay preacher himself so he made the priest holes for the priest to go into when the alarm was sounded some of them could be in fireplaces underneath the fire or you know up the chimney behind oak panelling, under the floorboards. So the fireplace directly behind me is right in front of one of the priest holes in Hopwood Hall. Now we aren't sure if people could also access it by going up into the fireplace, but it was common that a lot of the fireplaces in the English country homes would have access points within the chimneys of the fireplace. Okay, okay. so this is the priest hall. Now when we discovered this room, it was actually from below down here. Bob and I were redoing a ceiling that would have been here and he noticed there was a crack in a hole and he shined the light up into the hole and saw this void. Right. So that is the first time we discovered it. Wow, that's fantastic, yeah. Once we knew there was a void here, then we started looking into it even more and then later realized this was the priest hole entrance here and potentially here. And when we did find it, there was an old tabernacle hidden up here in the corner over there. Right, right. Which yeah, was well, pretty amazing sense. to discover something like that still there all these hundreds and hundreds of years later. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. While they were in there, you, think, you know, they could do the prayers and have a little mass, you know, very quietly, obviously. So even um, though they weren't eating, they were able to do their prayers, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, that wow. would be very important to them, yeah. All right, so this is the tabernacle that we found in the priest hole. And you can see there's all sorts of designs on it here. There's, you know, this sort of ecclesiastical, yeah. almost looks like a church window. Windows, yeah. We had an expert from Christie's look at it, and she thought these were pegs to hold another piece that went on top of it. And then this piece actually sat on something else. Yeah. She thought it was it dated back to the 1600s, 
which makes the Catholic connection yeah. and the time frame would have been yeah. exactly the time when all this was going on sure. and around the time that Guy Fox would have come and visited. Yeah. Can you imagine how scary it must have been yeah, to be I in here in the I dark? I was scared to death when I was in here by myself. <laughs> Just looking, I can't imagine if you knew you had to stay in here and for be days. so quiet for days without food or water. And yeah. if you made the slightest noise that you would be found out and be executed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So over here, this is where it's thought that there was a cupboard built here that could swing back. So from that side, it would look like it was just a normal cupboard. But then yeah. they could push that open, it would swing up, and they could climb in here. That's right, yeah. But so there is at least one other spot in the hall where I think it may also be a priest hole that I'd like to show you. And then, if you're up for it, I'd like to wander through the hall and see if maybe we can find some other places that might be priest holes. Yeah. Are you up Great. for that? Yeah. Okay. Great. All right, let's try it. Sure. So we're going to go deeper into the hall, so we need to put on some protective wear. Are you feeling lucky, Roz? Like we might find another oh, priest hole? Absolutely. <laughs> you have to be. Maybe we start in here. Like, what is, what's the back of your jacket say? <laughs> Security. Yeah, watch out. <laughs> so down. there's this panel here that, you know, it sticks out from the wall. Yeah, yeah. And but it goes That's nowhere. Yeah. Isn't that bizarre? That's weird. So it just goes like six inches. So it makes you wonder. Yeah, yeah. It's it doesn't sound hollow. solid, does it? When we had bees here this summer, they had to open this wall. You might have seen it in one of our yeah. other episodes think, about yeah. the bees in the walls. Yeah. So these bricks were removed here i believe to get in there but what i noticed that was interesting was it was a double wall and that's why the bees were in there in the first place right. there's this brick wall then there's a space and then there's another brick wall which is the exterior wall then look this pushes out so i don't know if this was originally a fireplace and maybe they you know did something here with this in the 1960s and altered it but it'll be Really interesting to know what was originally behind this area. If there's a two foot void between the walls here, or maybe one foot, and then you have this, you've yeah. got a pretty big yeah. space in there. Yeah. So the space between the wall is probably only about that wide, but I suppose if you're desperate enough and your life depends yeah. on it, you'd be willing to get in there. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Could the family get into trouble if they had a priest hole, even if it was a false priest hole? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. To get fined or would they get, could they get executed for that if no one was found or how would that? Well, the fact that they had a priest hole would suggest that they had a priest there at some right. stage. So the, you know, it wouldn't go too well. Right. So if you notice this little piece lifts out and Bob discovered this. Right. And then realized that this paneling actually is a door and clicks open. Now, there's a little hole in it right here that I believe is some kind of lock. Yeah, there's one little and thing there. seems there like a well. hole here. Maybe these are peak holes. So it was thought that potentially this could have been a priest hall. Now, we're in the oldest section of the hall. This area was built in the 1400s and then altered in the 1500s. So it easily could have been that this, which is hollow behind here, was yeah. potentially a priest hole, or maybe it was one that they were trying to look like a priest hole to throw people off, it I don't could, know. Yeah, it could very well be. So it's never actually been opened. Uh, you can see there's space behind it, but no, yeah. we haven't been able to open this lock, but you can see that there is a void in there. Yeah. Well, that was quite eventful. <laughs> it certainly Thank was. you so much for coming. Pleasure. It's always so great to have you visit the hall. Thank you so Look much. Look forward to you coming back again sometime. Certainly will. All right, give you Absolutely. a big hug. Yes. All right. Yes. So I hope you know more about priest holes than you did before you watched the video. I know I'm learning a lot, and hopefully we will discover even more and keep you posted on that. If you like these videos, please like, share, subscribe, and click the bell to be alerted about our latest content. If you want to see more videos, join us on Patreon. We're putting up multiple videos there every week. And we also have a TikTok channel. All right. 
Thanks for all your support and help. And it is absolutely freezing in here, so I need to go get a cup of tea and call it a wrap. <laughs>